afternoon, everyone. We are On The Rock, and we welcome you to On The Rock this afternoon. We're going to have a wonderful time, Bishop. Amen. And we're On The Rock. Not sinking sand. Praise God. And who is that rock? The rock is Jesus, the solid rock. Yes, Lord. God's only son. Praise God. The and rock of ages. Yes, 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 yes. And we are scripturally based. Yes. And we're going to go to the scripture right now. St. Matthew's, the 16th chapter, verse 13 through 18, and verses 18. Verse 18 is the operative one. Verse 18. Now get your Bibles. We're got coming from the King James Version. King James Version, uh, our viewers, every week, we're going to go to it right now. I'm sure you all know, but we might have some new ones this week. Praise God. Here we go. Verse 13 of the 16th chapter of St. Matthews. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He says unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter <laughs> answered and said, That thou are the Christ, mm. the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are thy Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, Bishop, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, what is he saying here? He's going to build it on Peter and I explain no. to the people. The revelation knowledge that, that was revealed to Peter, ah. thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Yes, Lord. That revelation knowledge, the church is built on Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we are on the rock. Yes. That solid rock, which is Jesus. Yes. And at this time, oh, we got a wonderful guest, and we will introduce him once, Bishop, uh, you're going to do a scripture right now. You're just going to, we've done the scripture, so you're going to sing. Uh, yes. Okay, we're going to have you sing a song, and then we're going to introduce our guest this afternoon. Okay. You have a father prayer, a light, a light. Let God lead you. Our Father, yes, Jesus. we're short and Jesus, 
our Father. Yes, yes Lord, with that momentum, we're going to introduce our speaker. Amen. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce this young man of God. Yeah, yeah. Praise God, hallelujah. Minister Joseph V. Wilson, praise God. He's the son of our elder, our Reverend Lee Wilson, and this psalmist, I call her my psalmist, yeah. Faith Wilson. Wilson. She's a minister uh, in her own right, Bishop. Yes, she is. And uh, Minister Joseph Wilson is a member uh, and a minister at New Generation Christian Fellowship, where the pastors, uh, Apostle Larry and co-pastor Kim Simmons, and the assistant pastor is uh, Assistant Pastor Lee Wilson. I give you Minister Joseph B. Wilson, Amen. and I'm going to let him give you his subject and let him come to you in the way God <laughs> would have him come. Amen. Minister Lee V. Wilson. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody, to all the viewers, and bless you, Bishop and uh, Dr. Underwood. Uh, what God is leading me to talk to you about is the covering. Uh, a lot of us, we don't understand what we're covered by and who is covering us. Jesus is covering us. Yes, Lord. And his covering, if you look over to, follow with me to Psalms, the 18th chapter, and the second verse, amen. The covering of Jesus is so powerful. It's, it's almighty. Look at this now. The Lord is my rock mm -hmm. and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, and whom I will trust. We have to trust in it now. My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Amen. He, his covering is almighty. It's, all, it, it, it's a hiding place for when the storms of life is raging, when the valley gets too tough. He, it's a hiding place. It's a, uh, a guaranteed protection. Amen. Uh, this covering is what we're in. It's, it's what is upon us, the people of God, the saints that proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, there's sometimes that we're, in, we're abiding in the covering. But then there's times where we, we step away from the covering because yeah. we're in the flesh. And sometimes the flesh wins the battle sometimes, but we know the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak. Amen. Now, if you follow with me now, a perfect story that could go along with this now is the prodigal son. Now, follow with me to Luke, the 15th chapter. Amen. The covering. This is what we're, uh, that's upon us. And, and this is why our nation is... is is in such uh, disarray, amen. Uh, a nation that was founded on Christianity uh, from our founding fathers, amen. And 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 in our churches that used to have the power and the anointing that they used to possess is gone because some of us have stepped out the covering of Jesus Christ, amen. And and our nation has somehow, if you remember the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, they. Our nation has become a, a modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah Lord Jesus. because we have stepped out of the covering of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, uh, yeah, follow with me to Luke chapter 15, the 13th verse. Amen. This is the prodigal son, the story of the prodigal son. All right. Now, it says, And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with wretches living. Amen. And then the 14th verse, and he had spent it all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. As yeah. soon as we step out of the covering, we, we lack in a lot of different areas, spiritually and naturally. Naturally, we, 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 we lose, we're, we're struggling in our finances. We're uh, struggling with peace in our household. Take Amen. your time. And this, it, it, it's a lot of struggles that's going on naturally and spiritually. We lose our trust and our faith in God once we step out of the covering of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Now, if you, you look at this now, the 15th verse, and he went and joined himself to a citizen of the country and sent him into his fields to feed swine. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of us, when we're in the covering of Jesus, it's almost like a cell. If anybody's taken biology or science, you will understand what I'm talking about. A cell has these different type of things. It has the nucleus, it has the cell wall, and the ribosomes. Now, if you look at these things in the <coughs> spiritual realm, the Holy Ghost that dwells down on the inside is your nucleus. And now 
not only that, the spirit of God is your covering, which is your your uh, your cell wall that protects you from different parasites or the fury darts that the enemy is trying to fire at you. Mm. And now the anointing, which is the ribosomes. The ribosomes get rid of the unnecessary things that are abiding in the cell. The anointing is what destroys the yokes, and that's what the ribosome is. And once you immediately step out of the covering of God, here comes the cell wall breaking down, and the enemy is easily can easily be able to get to your spirit and destroy you. Yeah. The, for John 10 and 10 says, the devil comes to steal, kill, and to and destroy. But our God came that we have life and that more abundantly. Now, when we step out of the spirit of God and step out of the covering, uh, if you look, and we're still talking about the cell. Now, what protects the cell from parasites? The white blood cells. This is the angels that God dispatches among us to protect us from what the enemy is trying to do. We don't fight against flesh and blood. We don't fight against different things. We fight against the underworld, the enemy, mm -hmm. demons. Amen. The covering is what protects us. And when we step out of this, immediately our cell wall breaks down. Immediately our, our spirit is taken over by the enemy. And this is where we lose the battle. But when we abide in the spirit of God and when we abide in the spirit, that's when we're able to be ordered by God. Amen. Now, if you look at this now, and once we're abiding in the spirit, if you look over at Psalms 37 and the 23rd verse, and, and when we abide in God and the covering of him, this is what it says. Look at this now. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Lord. Now, when you're abiding in the covering, you're a good man and God is ordering you. Now, when you're in the covering and God is ordering your steps, here comes peace. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Here's your peace now. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores your soul. That's when you're abiding in the covering. This is where all this manifests. But when you're outside of the covering, here comes, uh, here comes chaos. Here comes uh, uh, a lot of different negative things that's coming towards you. Here comes poverty, things that we're not supposed to be uh, receiving. And, and uh, 1 Peter 2 and 9, it says we're a royal priesthood. Yeah, I never met yeah. a royal priesthood that's broke. Mm. Now, when you step out of the covering, this is a lot of different things. But, and and uh, I believe it's John, the 8th chapter in the 58th verse. It said, verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Mm. Before there was poverty, God was riches. Before there was cancer, God was the cure. Now, when you're abiding in that covering, this is where you receive. This is where, this is your promise. This is what happens for the saints of God when we abide in the covering. But when we step out, we lose all. We step into our family. We step into a dry season. And yeah. then we wonder why. Why are we in this dry season? Because you stepped out of the covering of God. Yeah. Now, look at this now. Yes, sir. Even though we're not abiding, some of us, we're not abiding in the covering of God. We stepped away just like the prodigal son. But God is still with you. Why do I say that? Look at this now. He's still with us. Deuteronomy, the 31st chapter in the sixth verse, it said, he will never leave us nor forsake us now. Now, he, he can't lie. He's not a God that will be able to lie now. Now, if you look at this, now, Isaiah, the 61st chapter in the first verse, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. God is not only upon us, he, but he abides in us. Mm. So even though we have stepped away from God, he's still with us. He's still there to comfort us. He's still watching over us, even though we're in our wrongdoing. God said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Now, if you look at back to the prodigal son, he, he was in a famine and he, he was in the country now. And he, he got so desperate because when you get out of the covering of God, you lack in a lot of different areas. He got so desperate, he was going to even eat from the pig's food. Amen. Mm. Now, a lot of us, we get so desperate to where we step out of the cover, we, we go to maybe selling drugs, doing a lot of different things that are illegal and, and not doing the right thing in God's eyes. That's because you stepped out of the covering of God and leads you to desperation. And, and, and desperation leads to a lot of different wrongdoing. Amen? Now, the prodigal son came to himself. Now, look at this now. I will rise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. I am no more worthy to mm. be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. Mm. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was a yet great far way off, his father saw him and, and, and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Now, even though you stepped out of the covering and, and, and even in your everyday lives, you 
as soon as you're ready to quit doing the wrong thing, the people that were in your corner step away from you because you're ready to say yes to God and, and, and really go back to him. And you will lose yeah. your friends, yeah. but God yeah. won't leave you. Ah. He's your comforter. It, it, the Holy Ghost that dwells on the inside of you of your earthen vessel yeah. is there to comfort you. Yeah. And then when you have that on the inside and you abide in the covering, you can be able to say, yeah, I know weeping may endure for a night, but I know joy is coming in the morning yes, because my comforter that is down on the inside will comfort me because I'm not only, not only is the comforter down on the inside, but I'm, what's even greater is I'm abiding in the comforter. When I abide in the comforter, nothing can touch me. I know even though things are coming against me, I know no weapon formed against me will be able to prosper. Amen? Amen. Because I know I have the covering of God. Lord Jesus. Now, even though people may talk about you, God won't talk about you. He won't judge you. He has his arms open to receive you. You may have done something wrong that you may regret, but God is saying, I'm still your father. I'm still your shepherd. Come back to me. Come yes. out to me and rest. Yes. God said he will give you rest. Some of us have been stressed out by life and what is going on and what we put ourselves into, but God is ready and willing to take us out the pit if we abide in the covering. Mm. Amen? Now, he, and then the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Sometimes we get so down and out to where we don't believe we're sons of God anymore, sons and daughters of God. We, we quit coming to church. We quit doing the things that we used to do. We quit reading the word because we're so hurt that we disappointed our father. Our, our Jesus Christ, our Alpha and Omega, our captain of our salvation, our mm. bishop and shepherd of our souls. We get so hurt to where I don't want to do this anymore because I, I forsake God. I, I, I have betrayed God with ah. a kiss. I have denied God just like Apostle Peter did. Amen. But God is saying, I'm still here. I'm still there waiting for you. Just come back to me. The good thing about God, he doesn't force you. He just he gives you the freedom of choice. And that's the beautiful thing. He doesn't force you to serve him. He says, you have the choice. And he came back to his father. And if you look at the prodigal son now. Mm. And, but the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him. And put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. What is, what is that saying? God is about to restore everything. That that, that you lost when you left the covering, mm. God is about to restore it all. That that the canker worm, the palmer worm, has eaten up. God has, said he's, God has steady saying to us that he's about to restore the years. He's going to restore it all. Uh, even though we left and we wasted mm. our time and wasted our finances, a lot of different things, we messed up our relationships with our kids, with different friends and family, God said he's about to restore it all. He's about to mend the broken heart because he's a, a, a heart fixer, amen? He's, a, he, 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 he's able to bring things and people together. And that's what this country needs. It needs a mending. We're broken no, That's the reason why our country is failing in a lot of different areas. That's why there's wars and rumors of war. Yes, it speaks of this in Revelation because it has to happen. Not only with our country, when we abide in him, there can be peace. Yes, the things of Revelation can manifest, but it's going to manifest. I had no choice. God said he won't lie on his word. But. That's the reason why our country is so messed up. We stepped away from God. That's the reason why our lives are not the way it should be because yes, we have stepped away from Jesus Christ. But when we're back in that covering, happiness comes back. Joy comes back. Peace comes back. Protection comes back. Amen? Uh, uh, just, just your spiritual morale goes back up again. Your self-confidence in you comes back when we're abiding in him. Amen? Now, if you look at this, he, uh, and he said, yeah, bring, bring, put a ring on his hand and put shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatted calves and kill it. it, it it's a celebration. It's a celebration. And, and not only heaven is rejoicing when you come back to him, but the people, the real saints of God, not church folk, but the real saints of God. Ah will rejoice with you. Rejoice to them that rejoice. Amen. Mm -hmm. You rejoice with them. You don't talk about what they did in the past. The past is over. And 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 said, In Christ we are new creatures and old things are passed away. When you abide in the covering of God, your old thing, you won't even remember what you did in the past. You would just think about the now, the future yeah. th that you have with Jesus Christ because you're a new creature. Yeah. When we abide in him, the new creature is able to come out. When we abide in him, uh, 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 
God will make the crooked path straight. straight. Yes, uh, when we abide in him, the dry grounds, he said he will open up rivers in, in, in the midst of our dry land. He, he said he'll put fountains in the midst of our valleys. This mm. is what he said in, in the book of Isaiah. Now, his promises will manifest when you abide in him. Now, when you abide in the covering, a lot of these things come to pass. The riches of the Gentiles come to pass. Amen. Even though uh, if you look at the story of Joseph, it may have looked like his covering was taken away. His, his promise was taken away. Uh, be, if you look at it when his coat of uh, many colors was taken away. But the colors were still abiding in him. If you look at the colors of red, red is blood. The blood of Jesus. Now, it, it said in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, he is faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins by his blood. Now, if you look at this now, the other colors that are abiding on this, the coat of the many colors was purple. Purple is royalty. Now, first... First Peter chapter 2, verse 9, we are royal priesthood, a chosen generation. That was still abiding on him. He was chosen to do a will of God to, bring, to, to help Egypt out. Amen? Not only that, but purity. Amen? He, oh my God, it, 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 the colors were still abiding in him. And that's what I'm saying to you. Even though you have stepped out on God and, and you're in a pit or something has gone wrong, the colors are still abiding with you. The covering is still abiding with you. You may have left God a long time ago, but God is still saying, I'm still with you. I'm still with you. And the celebration will continue. Now that you came to God, here's the celebration. Here, and then you'll be able to go to a place. When you're abiding in the covering, you can be able to go to a place where the wicked will cease from troubling, mm. where the weary can be at rest. When that final trumpet is sound and, and Gabriel puts one foot on land and one foot on water, we will be caught up with God and be able to, be able to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. That's what we're looking for. That's the goal. That's, the, that's, that's what we're looking toward. That's our goal. That's mm. where we want to be. As long as we abide in the covering mm. of God, and mm. now the covering won't forsake you, it won't judge you, allows you to come back now. Now what I'm saying to you is abide in the covering because it's there. All you have to do is walk in it. And when you abide in the covering, a lot of these things will come to pass for you. And, and that's what the message is for today. Just yes. abide in the covering. And I hope this blessed somebody because it certainly blessed me. And I hope that we all, it's my prayer that we abide in the covering so we can be able to meet Jesus again when he comes back. Amen. What a word. Yeah. What a word. Yeah. What a word. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Bishop. Uh, yeah. What a word. What a word. Yes, Lord. And what he's preached mm. about the prodigal son. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He went away. But he came back. But he came back. Yes, yeah. Ah, uh, he's willing to come back. Just let me get in. Mm -hmm. A hard servant. But yeah. what did the father say? He's a son. Amen. Come back as a son. His arms wide open. That's Jesus' right. arms is wide open. If you've stepped away. You can do like the prodigal son. Come back home. Come back home. <laughs> Praise God. Come back home. His mm -hmm. arms are wide open. While he was afar off. Did he go to him? And no. kick, kicked him on the, kissed him on the neck? He met him. Met him. Mm. Ah, when he was afar off. Mm -hmm. He met him. He was willing to come back as a high servant. He just wanted to get back. He was ready to eat the husk no. back in the pig pen. Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But Jesus will come as a son. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Abide. Yeah. Abide in the covering of God. Mm. Yes, Praise yes, God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you don't know him, all you have to do is confess with your mouth. Romans 10, 9 and 10. Let me go there. Right now, Romans 10, 9, and 10. We got five minutes? We got five minutes. We got time to go to Romans 10, 9, and 10. Praise God. Bishop yeah. and, and Reverend, pray, minister, y'all listen to me and help me out here. Romans 10, 9, and 10. That if thou confess with thy mouth, mouth. Yeah, that's we it. all got a mouth, you, you got to confess. the Lord Jesus. Yes, yeah, uh -huh. yes. You got to confess. That means you got to talk, right? Amen. You got to say, I, I accept you as my personal Savior. The Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart mm -hmm. that God has raised him from the dead. That God raised whom? Jesus. Jesus from the dead. Mm -hmm. 
Thy shalt be saved. He didn't say maybe. That's right. Thou yeah. shalt be saved. Assuredly, if you accept him as your personal savior and confess it with your mouth, your mouth. he said you're saved. For with the heart man believeth mm -hmm. unto righteousness, uh -huh. and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Amen. So you got to believe that Jesus came through 42 generations, 14, 14, 14, read St. Matthews, You can look it up. It's all documented. He came through 42 generations to suffer, bleed, and die. Yes, that you, 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 and even me can be saved. You got to believe that Jesus did it for you, you, and me. He did no sin. Amen. He took all of sin. Anything you can do, anything you've done is not too bad. But I'll kill somebody. But I've done this. It's not too bad. It'll be under the blood. Is that right? Amen. All you got to do is repent, get, get sorry enough, become sorry enough not to, do it again. not to do it again. And he'll forgive you. He'll forgive you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He'll forgive you. Is that right? No. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. That's right. Did he forgive the prodigal son? Yes, he did. He'll forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's it. Is that the Bible? That's it. Yes, He's it is. He's preached it already. Amen. St. Matthew eleven twenty eight. it said, what? You can find it real quick. St. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28, it said what? Come unto me, all ye that labor, all ye that labor and, and all heavy laden, heavy laden and, and I will, will give you rest. Give you rest. Amen. Take my yoke upon thee. Amen. Take thy yoke upon you and learn of me, learn for of I am me. meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest, rest unto, your, unto soul. your soul. For my yoke oh, yeah. is easy. For, for my yoke is easy and, and my, my burden, burden is a light. Amen. Take my yoke upon thee and learn of me. Mm hmm He's ready to help you. Nothing you've done is too bad. He's not going to judge you. You said it. That's right. He'll love you. And he'll help you. Amen. We were at the darkest of war before we came here. Ten women. And we remember darkest in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Tabitha. She had done so much good work. I know you've done a lot of good work. But maybe you step out from under the covering. That's it. Like you preach. Amen. But you can come back. That's it. His arms are wide open. Wide open. Praise God. Bishop, take us out. Press your way through. Press your way through. Mm -hmm. Jesus will help you. Press your way through. Press your way. Come back again. You gave a word today. You got the scriptures. Press your way through. Come back, minister. Yes, Did you enjoy him, Bishop? Yes. Did y'all enjoy him? Press your way through. Jesus will help you. Press your way through. Praise your way through. Praise your way through. Jesus will help you. See you next week. Praise your way through. Sometimes you have to shout your way through. Shout your way through. Jesus will help you. Shout your way through. See you next week. On the rock.